Hey everybody, it's the Honey Badger here and it is in fact time to do some more work on the 720. It's been a little bit um, because of honestly this project I want to do has taken far too long. So um, this is technically seats video number three for this pickup. Um, the first one was just taking out the completely destroyed stock seats and putting in some from a junkyard that definitely did work for a, a period of time. They weren't perfect. And once we redid the interior, I wanted to put something else in it. In the meantime, I did have some existing Sparco seats that I already owned that were from a previous autocross car. So I put them in, not a perfect match, but they were newer and nicer. But unfortunately, they are very deep seated bucket seats and they are unbelievably annoying to crawl in and out of in this pickup. So they need replaced. And I did buy some seats about eight months ago. But unfortunately I brought, I, well, the seller had wrong pictures and the description said the correct thing. I went off the pictures, didn't read the description very well and I bought the wrong colored seats. So after returning those, I tried to buy the seats I wanted instead of a black and blue seat, which is what I got the first time by accident. I wanted black with black since we have an all black interior, which is just gonna look a lot nicer. And unfortunately they were sold out. And ever since then, I've had seats on back order because of all the shortages happening around the world. I just haven't been able to get seats for eight months. So I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. I've called Sparco even and asked them if they just could give me any insight, not demanding, you know, seats to go to the supplier I tried to buy them from. Um, but just, you know, giving me some insight. And, and luckily I got a very helpful person from Sparco and they gave me a lot of in interesting information about what's been happening on their shipping and logistics side. And I know a lot about that actually due to what I do for a living. So I understood what he's talking about and he just let me know a little bit about what was going on. And so what I ended up doing was finding a different source that th just recently got a shipment because Sparco knew about one coming in. And that kind of gave me a heads up to start looking again. And I luckily found a seller selling them at the same price as I had purchased before. So I ordered them. I saw that they shipped. I got shipping confirmations and everything. And then I canceled my eight month old pre-order essentially from the other place. So after a really long time trying to just get a black seat for my pickup, they're finally here. So we're going to take these ones out that did their job for now, but just unfortunately not comfortable in the long term. I'll end up selling these because um, I'm going to not need them uh, at the time being. And we'll put in the new seats and I'll show you those in just a second. But let's get this interior seats out so we can put those ones in. And here are our two seats. This is what was in the pickup. That is the new seat that is going in. That's the R100 from Sparkle. I'll leave you a link in the description so you can check it out if you wanna get something like that um, for your vehicle. I already had, had obviously Sparkles in the car, so the same seat bases um, can be used, which is gonna be easy. We took it off this one. We'll need to just put it on that one now so we can put it in the vehicle. But the old ones, just there's too much side here. They're really narrow. They're great for racing, which is what they were in an autocross car. And they worked great there, but they don't work as well if you wanna cruise around in your pickup. They're really annoying to get in and out of. They're a little tight. And uh, you know, you're just, you're held, you're held in there a little bit too snug. Um, it's not a race car. It's a really slow pickup. I'm not trying to race in it, um, you know, but these will still have some support obviously on the sides, but we don't have to crawl over something to get into them. We can adjust it. Don't have the caps on them yet, but we'll be able to adjust it. And these are just gonna be way more comfortable. And aesthetically, they're gonna be a little bit better as well because of the black interior now, instead of this blue on these ones as well. So really excited to put these in. You know, this is like third times a charm on seats for me on this, on this pickup. So the good news is, after these go in, I don't know what at all we would even want to change at that point. We should be good to go. I won't have to do seats again for the pickup, despite loving making videos for it. So um, we're going to go ahead and get the bases onto them and get them in the pickup.
And here they are. It's the day after I put them in. Um, it was just too dark at night to see them super well, so I waited for the sun to come up the next day, and obviously the seats in the pickup look, uh, I think they look nice. They look good. I mean, obviously, they still look sporty, and obviously they still obviously scream Sparko at the top, so you know it's not really stock, but nothing really about my interior is super stock, you know, with the custom door cards and a few of the other things we're doing, and uh, center console part's not in at the moment, but we're working on that. You'll see a video on it coming out here soon, so make sure you are subscribed so you catch the notification for that, but these look better just being all black. They match the all black interior now way nicer, and the seats themselves just look good, so I'm, I'm excited with the way they turned out and the way they look in the pickup. They're way easier to sit in. They're way easier to get in and out of. Um, just, you know, you can see there's just you know, they're, they're normal on the sides. So you don't have to get over a weird issue down on the side. So yeah, they look nice. I, uh, I'm a big fan. I haven't really drove around in them yet, but just sitting in them, getting in and out of the pickup way easier. And the fact that they adjust means getting it to anything in the back's easier too, because I can flip the seats forward or backwards a little bit. So um, yeah, definitely a, a big win on, on this one. So uh, like I said, there's gonna be more videos coming out here soon. So make sure you are subscribed. Leave a like on the video. The more likes the video gets, usually the little bit better they do getting views, which helps me do more projects on the pickup. So uh, leave a like as well. And other than that, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see all of you in the next one.